Pixar song. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you guys. Pixar Fest. That's what I'm talking about. I feel like we've been trying to celebrate Pixar Fest all day today, and we've been kind of like, there's just not been enough Pixar in our Pixar day, our Pixar Fest day. We need more Pixar. I'm covered in Pixar. I don't know about you. You know what they say. Man, That's right. Too. I wore a Pixar shirt. I win. Yeah, you did good. You got Mike and Sully. I'm wearing a Pixar shirt. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're kind of first. Back. Go ahead. There you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to DCA to get more Pixar in our Pixar day because Pixar it didn't happen. That's what I'm saying. I get it. Hey, I thought you might enjoy that. Uh, we're gonna go Let's check out. Red Radiator Space Pixar. Actually, <laughs> well, where Let's we're going go. first? No, where we're going we're first? We're right around the corner right now. There's the waterfall. Oh, is this is this where we not fall yet, in love not yet, not yet. with the girl car and because she's got a back tattoo? Porsche, or whatever. There's the waterfall. Oh. The waterfall. Oh, and we're in love. Thank you. Uh, so what we're doing first? This is the waterfall. No, you, you were right before. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, as far as the ride goes, the ride arrangement's different from yeah. the actual piece in the movie. Right. So that's why. Um, we're not. No, yeah, this is the one. Look at you. Uh, we're going to the Blue Sky Cellar first, actually. I'm giving you more Pixar. Wow! Oh my god, he's into that in so long. I know he got me. No, so I'm just moving right along, like I don't care. Because I am a honey badger! Ashton, you totally got me! How's <laughs> <laughs> it feel, Sarah? <laughs> that you got me? That's payback from like five years ago. <laughs> the one time that the I never got you? The one time you got me. I never paid I you back. I don't remember what, I, what that was for, though. We, it was for, it was for uh, Frozen <laughs> Olaf, Olaf Snowfest. Right. Or, I think this looks new. Yeah! <laughs> Word on the street is that the Blue Sky Cellar is open. Word on the street is inside the Blue Sky. We've been asking for the Blue Sky Cellar to be open for a long time. And actually, now that I'm saying it out loud. And even before they before they were like, wow, they have a lot of projects in the works. To yeah, the why are they? Come on. Right, I will take this. Hong Kong, Shanghai, you name it. Uh, Florida, wherever you got stuff going on, I want to see what's happening. Uh, but I have a feeling like I'm going to get let down just now. Like it's not going to be open when we get there. What do you think? I mean, there's no reason for it to be closed in the middle of the day. What? Mr. Shirt. Young, scrappy, and hungry. Oh, <laughs> Hamilton shirt. Sarah is just feeling it today. She's feeling it. And? <laughs> I asked him, is this pin trading? And he said, yes, it is. Oh, is he doing Ross? <laughs> uh, let's go to Blue Sky Cellar. That's got Pixar in it. Including an credit coaster that you could e stop. Well, okay, so there's a model of the actual land yeah. and a, a coaster model that's kind of like the screaming. Kind of, not the whole thing, right? That gives you a mini version of what's like for Casper to control the ride. Yeah. No. Blue sky, okay, this way. All right. Baby mines. We're going to go in here. This is the Blue Sky Cellar right here that hasn't been open for how long? Not counting when they had it kind of, half kind of open for AP days. Right, don't count that. Not since before Cars Land opened. Yeah, that was the last time they were showing Well, uh, Princess Fantasy Fair was the last thing well, they exhibited. Was the same time, was it? Was it? I think so. Oh, well, it is open. Ian, it's open. This is happening. Actual. This is happening. We're going to the Blue Sky Cellar. Holy heck. Look, see, right there. Blue Sky Cellar presents Pixar Pier. Oh, my goodness. Hey, how are you? Hey. Okay. Hello. Oh, look, they're bringing in a piece. Hi. It was just like watching. Look at. Hey, it's us. Oh. I know. It, 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 somebody's doing a not whole game report. Only oh, they're getting to actually see the construction. Yeah, they're, they're like on. in this on, on this on the construction site. They're making it. Why does this feel like a 1970s? Because this is incredible music playing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, the, the, I have to remind oh, you, the I'm right music right. Is no, yeah, the score to Incredible is, is fantastic because Michael Giacchino is a genius. Look at, see, okay, this is what we're about to see is this thing. Yeah. Oh man, I want this job. Michael Giacchino's Incredible score is so good. Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Oh, is Walt going to present Pixar Pier? God, I have missed this so much. 
Here's the concept that we're all very familiar with. A whimsical waterfront inspired by a classic California boardwalk. Pe and Pixar Pier. Reminder, there's your foot splash. Yeah. Uh, that is, I mean, that's 100%. Yeah. Flix flyers and inside out together. Yep. Originally, everybody thought it was going to be in here. There's actually a piece of art or one of, somewhere around here that shows a spinner on that spot. Oh, really? Like a little art. From, well, from so, the original I mean, Paradise Pier, right? No, no, um, the Pixar Pier. Oh, really? Meaning, I mean, that rumor at one point was true. Okay, all right. But clearly, at some point, they decided, you know what, we're just going to repurpose an existing spinner and we sort of yeah. spot instead. Yeah. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, Inset pink rose color. For oh, okay. The, the facades. Right. This. Okay. Yeah. And this here. For what will be the proper entrance to Nick Nick. This is. Th th we, these are up now. Uh, these okay. cupolas yes. are up now. And Last week they were the just steel. To lamp white. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at the, 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 that's, that's what the art's gonna look like eventually, or the uh, you know the design on that awning that is yes. being rebuilt. <laughs> This looks like that place in San Diego. It maybe. That probably is. You think? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Where you can like have breakfast right there on the beach? Inspiration from a rich history of California piers and boardwalks. So it's at least in California. The use of resplendent jewel. You're close. <laughs> You're close. She's lost her mojo with the with the uh, Rung and Fossil's cane. I don't you guys. understand what happened. I don't know. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You need to practice. Go to. I understand there's a genius about this on Dagobah. Go seek him out. A uh, little green guy about this tall. Okay. He'll, he'll, he'll remind you about Dagobah? Is that what you're Dagobah. Saying? No, actually, it's Dagobah. It's not Dagobah. Just like so here, yeah, we found the side plan, and Ian has astutely pointed out, and much to my happiness and joy, many more trees than we're used to finding. Some of these are already here, but these are some of these are like palmer trees as opposed to right, like those palm trees. Palms, right. These, these look, yeah, the that's what be the these. Palms are different. These are different. Yeah. Yeah. And we've got a little bit of a different set here. This is where the Pixar ball will be. Yeah. And uh, Flix flyers right here. So yeah. Uh, that, so the billboard where it used to be the copper tone type deal? Well, there's one of those that's redone Pixar wise or whatever. Already? Yeah. But it was like that at one point they were just looking at putting the ball Look on that, the yeah. but it didn't. But yeah. for a reason that didn't happen. Here's the, uh, yeah, here's the concept art for the... Uh, now that's, that's not called that now, and now it's called uh, the Adorable Snowman. Yeah. Right. Go bar or Lamplight Lounge. Yeah. We've seen most of this already, except for that. What are, yeah, what are we looking at here? This would, be the, this would have been the entrance, right? To the whole pier? No, to Incredicoaster. Oh, okay, so like Cove Bar is like right about here somewhere? No, entrance to Incredicoaster. What? Like the actual attraction? Yes. See, so there's the I.O. on the side. So this is completely new. That would, They would have to build all that up? They, oh, why, why couldn't they have done that? Because that would require more time and money, and they wanted to do this done quicker. Mm. I would have loved. Like I said, these look more interesting. This would that would have been but fantastic. Any of this would have been more interesting, but it would require them to actually deconstruct the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, different cues. Yeah, because they decided instead to save the building and just and put, build it yeah, onto. and just append. Yeah. Yeah, they're basically appending that and that to the existing yeah. structure. I, I heard it. <laughs> what are you two dorks doing? We're riding the roller coaster. Yeah. It looks and like she rode with us. We're making wheeze and woo noises. And we wooed on every. You know, we just can't wait that like we can't wait. I can't wait either. Yeah. It's fun. That's like the thing that. Hey, did you notice that the wheel is two tone? Are we going to keep it like that? No, I don't think so. Ian, look at the wheel. Why is it two-tone, Ian? Uh, they're just showing it half-painted. The final thing will be painted. It's going to be blue? Right. Yeah, yeah the whole thing will be blue. They've already yeah. got about half of it done. It's already half blue, yeah. yeah. The top half is now blue. Well, I mean, they've rotated it. Right, it was the bottom half, but yeah. anyway. Uh, oh, look. That's one of the launch yeah. tubes. Sorry, I meant this because this is like a proper oh, gosh. Ian is about ready to lose dimensions. his mind. What is like, that? This would be a, just your safety information sign, right? Oh, okay. But this is like, you know, your dimensions, the materials, all of that. It's, wow. Now, see, that's you the kind of world I would work that, in. That's what you would do right yeah, now, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, I already look, my current job, I look at drawings. Yeah. Not as fancy as that, but I look at drawings. Right. It's part of my job. Okay. Okay. Launch tube. Now, 
practical projection? What do you think? Uh, lasers probably. I mean, lasers are projection. We, we, we swear we saw them physically moving. Eh? Well, I mean, pictures of them moving a physical man kind of dash. That, yeah. Over. So dash is practical. Yeah. And then you have lasers. Awesome. What is going on here? I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming in the audio you'll hear him bouncing around because there's no way to visually do that. And she's on top of the two. Again, early. I think that's early pictures because I'm pretty sure he's gonna, she's going to be inside. That would be that, neat. That's gonna, that would be great if they, if they really do the, pull that off. There's technically three tubes, but one of them is going to have some during the up and one during the down. Okay. So that way you get all four, right? <laughs> and the rest of this looks so much better. You missed, you missed the whole rant, but we're going to sum it up for you. <laughs> this is the old senior buster. Oh, not the old, but, but the original concept, which looks well, like a thing, I mean, like a real thing. Even have make it cocoa in this in the Right. And then we, this is what we're, we're going to get, which is what we saw we were doing last week at Bugs Land when we saw that. It's too bad. It really is too bad. That looks fantastic. And it could, how much could it cost to do that? They Disney, Disney has an ability to make things that shouldn't cost much to do, yeah. take, take longer and be more expensive. So. Here's your concept art for Angry Dogs. Even that is a little more involved than what we're actually getting. Well, it really, it looks like all they've done here is just drop this in front of the existing, uh, what is it, Don, is yeah. that Don Thomas? Uh, no, Don Thomas was the turkey card. Oh, the turkey, the turkey okay. And that looks about it. I mean, that's a decent yeah, that's, overlay. Um, I mean, it's weird that it's just this giant oversized thing. I know, but at least it's a fully realized thing. Yeah. Uh, now, where's the cookie? They, I've seen the art with cookie with his cookie store on it. I'm not sure where it's, it's where the photo go. pass, it where the photo looks, thing is. That's what one of the pieces of art looks like, but this is that's a smaller cart. Oh, here we go. Yeah, cookie num -nums. Like, it's a smaller cart, so I don't know where. Because you don't need that whole thing. No, you don't. Not just for cookies. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got Bing Bong's Candy Shop, which is... Yeah, there it is, right there. That's um, approximately what uh, the T-shirt shop yeah, at the beginning that's, that's of it. Point Magoo tattoo. Point Magoo. Okay, there you go. That's Point Magoo tattoo. And then here uh, we've got our first look at. Uh, this is one of the uh, boardwalk games. Yeah. Wait. That's just. Oh, he's got a broom. Because it says the fish. That looks like the fishing location. Uh, but yeah, he's got a broom. He's he's pushing or swinging stars. Yeah. Okay. And then here we've got to look at the uh, fun wheels with the. And the characters that you've seen on the construction walls, those those cameo faces will be. Yeah. All right. It's a nice now, easy way to catch all of them. Let's go over here and take a look at this thing. So that's like the early like sort of blue sky version. Blue sky. I guess. Look how they they've moved. These guys outside. Where is? Hey, hey first rate. Hey, how are you? Oh, I wonder if that's more just meant to represent that that's where that is. Midway Mania. Yeah. Because it's just a meant to that'll go. Burns eye. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So cool. So, so this is what I was saying about this early version still has this puts a spinner over yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah. There's a spinner saying. there. I think. Which is why I think. I think that rumor at one point was true. Yeah. Then but there's also gears. and there was something else over here. I don't know. Yeah. But at some point they switched gears and said, "Hey, you know what? Like instead, yeah, yeah. we're gonna repurpose for expires and put it over there." Got it. What is going on here? That is probably what's going to uh, look at what will be in the front. That's something outside. Yeah, that's like yeah, a that's essentially a marquee. It's a marquee of some kind. Yeah. For the what's happening to the uh, carousel. That's not happening though. No. I don't see that in the concept art anywhere. The current well, concept Jessie's art. Jesse's there. Right, but she's it's just Jesse in front of. This is true. Right. That's true. Clearly, yeah. so that, it's not yeah. that. Well, I mean, she's leaning up in the art that I've seen. She's leaning up against the thing. This is true. Now, when you say Disney, that's the exact. I mean, that's the, the designs from the Disney Infinity game, the figures. There's, well, is that in, bad? It, it's kind of. The first one, with hey, the first art they released of this, it was straight, just straight copy and paste yeah. pictures of. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just odd. This is kind of neat. There's a, like, dash running. I bet you it's going to be. No, that'll light up. Yeah, yeah that'll light up and show, it'll uh, look like. He's that'll look pretty cool. It'll probably go all the way around, right? It'll this is a very busy float. Yes, it is very busy. Now, does the Underminer feature in the film, or is this... I Probably in the opening scene. Because but he's not the primary villain. No, it's. I think if you saw the trailer, it's someone called yeah. Screen Slayer. There you go. Yes. Screen Slayer. Yeah. That's, actually, that's a pretty cool villain. It's interesting, at least. Yeah. I mean, no, that, like, that's a classic comic book villain, sort of. Yeah. yeah. I'm Screen Slayer. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, so, and then early concept studies explore different design possibilities. I'm glad that they didn't go this route. 
Because the Orcs, they already have an army droid in Play Parade. Yeah, Play Parade already has that. I think it's much better with the Underminer here. I am beneath you, but nothing is beneath, beneath me. me. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I don't see anything else here to... No, there's some stuff up above us. We'll get to that. So we've reached the model. The USS Section R. Truss. The Truss Section... <laughs> <laughs> Trust is okay. Meaning, whatever that piece, there's some pieces laying around in there, right? So yeah. whatever that piece is for, you punch out is for. Those are all trusses. All right. Section right, they break it into sections. That truss is section, labeled. Got section. it. So what do we got? Step one is the study model, built early in the design process. Let's move around this way, and you can see that they. They're, I guess they're gonna keep this up to date with how they're painting the wheel now, right? They're gonna, no, the wheel's I, gonna I, be, I think it's the wheel's gonna be half by Kawadia. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. No, the, the point of it not being this model, not being fully colored, if we're, if I want to be plain and generous, is that they want to show you the process of yeah. the model development. No, I get it. Yeah, you're right. As to a, save. It's, yeah, look how pretty you, we're this making is, This is how, how the model, not just how, this is not just what the model looks like, this is how the model is developed over time. Right. Right. And here you go, Pixar. You start with just the basic shapes and color and placement. Model. And you're starting to get into more detail. Oh, look at this, man. This is the this is the most detailed I've seen. We've only ever seen this this side right here in the uh, concept art. Uh, but there, now that that section down there and the little gazebo, that's all still there. That, that's the same stuff that we've seen before. Yes, but it'll all be part of Lamp White Lounge as opposed to this when it was Ariel Estrada. Right. Now okay. my understanding is that what's currently considered co bar will act as a more of a, just a strictly a bar. While there will be oh really? Well, the rest of Lambite Lounge will have a, a dining room portion. All right. Be a portion where you can get reservations. Are they going to keep a bucket of people in the ocean, right there? How do you know they don't already? <laughs> Disney, we know where your bodies are buried in Paradise Why Bay. Why think we had to get on the media list before they came for me? <laughs> and I was saying before, these cupolas here that you're seeing that, that as the entrance are now up. Uh, we got last week it was steel, and uh, this week it'll be yeah. you can see the whole Well, my understanding is that they were those were made off site by a yeah, it looked like they, contractor. They were dropped in. They're yeah. by a contractor and then brought in. For sure. So. Oh, here's some confirmation in what? about dash. That's the water effect. I mean, not like we didn't think it was gonna. Happen, I'm, but I am see the water effect yeah. here. I'm still wondering how involved it will be. If, well, it's going to be something. I, I mean, mean, like, is it more mist that comes out, or is it meant to actually get the people on the edge? Uh, I don't think it's good. I think it's going to be mist. Because yeah. I feel like people who are trying to get on the edge to go get a picture of their loved ones on the ride yeah. might not You're be not going to. It's not going to be a wall of water like that. Well, not for that. Sure. But yeah. it, it could still be a splash. Yeah. And I think, feel like people who are trying to get a picture of their family or friends on the ride might not be too happy about. We'll see. We'll like, see. I just wanted a picture. <laughs> Uh, here's the Poultry Palace. Yeah. Uh, and a half painted Toy Story Midway Main. And there's that entrance we were talking about. That there's could have the, been a lot better. I, was, I see the, pot, the cooking part. Uh, yeah, it's right where the photo, photo yeah. thing so was. I guess, I guess the, the, the photo thing only needs one portion. Yeah. That would have looked really cool though, Ian. I have to agree with that concept that we saw with that with the waterfall in the, in the rock wall. That would have looked really great right there. It's a shame. It's a shame they can't finish it. I, I, I mean, I know some stuff always gets cut in the process of development and budgets, you know, but this something like this, sometimes stuff is fair. You can tell where a lot of things got yeah. cut or never had much to begin with, and it, that's where it's just. This it's, does go back a long cut, way, just, though. Cuts always happen. It's yeah. not like, oh, wow, they cut. it happens. I'm aware yeah, of that. It has but for there's all some, time. But there's some cuts that hurt more than others, but you're like, wow, that would have actually been really great. Yeah. You know, I was doing some homework on uh, Adventures Through Inner Space. This might break your heart a little bit. Uh, but um, Adventures Through Inner Space was supposed to be just one part of Science Land. <laughs> they were going to build a whole site, the backstage area of, you know, behind Main Street yep. and Tomorrowland, where the in between is. Where they were going to build the president thing, the, the, uh, the, the whole. Uh, they were going to. Anyway, they had different ideas, but that area was going to be a science land and, and it, it was going to be adventures through inner space and a, plus a bunch of other stuff and then they just cut it all the way down to just inner well, space. Real. By now it all would have been rethemed movies anyway. So. I know, it's true, but I'm saying it goes back to 1959, See, man. 
means of it means that it doesn't feel as out of I, you, I, if, if there's two ways to go with a tomorrow you either you either lean more into the science or into the sci-fi or some melding of the two and that allows you to not worry about it getting outdated because the science yeah. is still the science right. and the sci-fi is still just a fun but like, you have to keep updating it though to a degree it like, depends how you're doing this like what aspect of science you're working on that's true right? some some parts of science is like math that never changes yeah, there's some things where we'll, we'll, our knowledge will expand but it's unlikely to radically change yeah right? no, that's true that's true all right let's check out this other display they have found the, uh, the model of the Inquieta coaster and it's somebody is oh, oh. it's got everything but a loop Right? Okay. Actually, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have the helix either. No, but it includes a transfer, so you can get the idea of how track transfer to go to a maintenance oh, yeah. bay works, right? Comes on here, switches over, backs it up. All right, excuse me. I guess our next show begins in seven seconds. What is a dispatch? Like, dispatch means sending the vehicle out. Sending a car out? Okay. That's what dispatch is. So, oh, here we go. He's climbing again. Sending the vehicle out. So this is... Oh, that's like old school. Oh, this is, yeah, this is just before you do the, uh, or, yeah, or just before the loop. Well, remember, this is not so much a representation of the actual coaster. That's true. A coaster to give you an idea yeah. both of kind of how coasters work and how they're sent out by a cat. Yeah. In a very basic sense. We, oh, and then everybody got my flash. And we're back. But right, so yeah, what you're able to, this is this is like the cast member's control panel. Yeah. Dispatch the so that sends it. Dispatch just sent the car. Yes. And they're saying, oh no, someone has a selfie stick out. Selfie Immediate stick. Immediate e-stop. Wah wah. And it now, stopped. After, then after Got a the bunch selfie of stick, it's an e-stop, so now we say, okay, mechanic came, they yeah. evac'd everybody, right. they mechanic did their reset, now for the last bit. Now it's ready for you. Again, real life, there's a little more to it than that, but, no. that, but this stuff is still there. You are hired, and you are hired. Now, that's to, that'll change your over here, right? I don't think that, I don't think that actually does anything on the model. Probably, probably not on this one. No. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And then as usual, they do a little movie here. About what? I don't know what this is about. Is it about Paradise or Pixar Pier? I, I, I would hope so. Or is it about wine? Because they still got the wine down here. Well, if this is this, this is still a cellar. Oh, you're right, huh? Right, all the barrels, right? The yeah, cellar yeah. elements of this are still absolutely yeah. vegan. Hosted by Walt Disney again. He loves Pixar, by the way. Walt Disney, big fan. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!